Hey folks, thank you so much for tuning in. You are watching The Buzz. And today we are talking about Rivian's R1T pickup truck, the world's first electric adventure vehicle, and if it's an industry game changer. Let's take a look. Wow, folks, that video was compelling. I don't know about you, but uh, that just makes me want to go out and slap that $1,000 deposit down on this vehicle. But before we get into the specifications of the vehicle, let's talk a little bit about the history of the company and where have they where they've been and where they're going. So let's dig into that a little bit. Rivian is an American automotive and technology company. They were founded in 2009 by RJ Scaringe. Currently employ about 700 staff across several different locations in the U.S. and they do have one office across the pond, if you will. They are headquartered in Plymouth, Michigan and have recently, I believe in 2017, purchased the old Mitsubishi plant that is located in Normal, Illinois, where they will be manufacturing the Rivian R1T. So that's relatively exciting. So they already have a base foundation of several offices doing different things across the United States and the globe, really one office across the globe, as I mentioned earlier and they have already purchased a manufacturing plant, a large manufacturing plant, and truly have the demographics that lived in that area who um, have knowledge about building cars. So I think this really could play well into the hands of Rivian, um, possibly a very smart choice. Let's talk a little bit about the financials of the company. Um, they, there's not a whole lot publicly announced, but I, what I will say is that they have several uh, stakeholders that are back in the company. And uh, one pledge was made of $700 million led by Amazon um, just recently. That is uh, breaking news here in the past uh, week or so, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, so the company does have a very, very strong financial backing to help build this vehicle. Rivian plans to have the R1T available to consumers in late 2020. This will start off with the most expensive configuration of the vehicle with a base model coming later on in 2020. I'm talking about anywhere between six to seven months. I know we all heard this story before, right? The difference here is that Rivian has been sort of in stealth mode, um, as RJ Scaringe called it, um, for several years, getting this vehicle up to specifications, getting everything laid out, the foundation, they have a plant, everything is sort of moving in that right direction where other EV manufacturers or startups are nowhere near this far along in the business process, right? So they, they still have a lot of work ahead of them. So now that I gave you a little bit of history about Rivian, let's dig into some of the specifications of this R1T pickup truck and see what this thing has to offer. This thing has got me all warm and fuzzy just because of some of the specifications that it does have. And I've already talked to a bunch of my friends who are pickup truck owners and got their perspective on this. And I, I wish I would have recorded it, but unfortunately I didn't. Um, but just based on the specifications and a look of the vehicle, these guys are salivating like, really? 
Is this really going to be true? So let's dig into the specifications. Comment down below if you are a pickup truck owner, what your thoughts are on the vehicle, um, what you do and don't like about it, and uh, share with the community so everybody has a little bit of a understanding of, of what's out there today and how this vehicle compares to those competitors. So let's dig in. Hold on to your seat, folks, because these are pretty exciting. First of all, the range. 400 miles with a 180 kilowatt battery. Acceleration will be from zero to 60 in three seconds. That's more along the lines of a sports car, not a pickup truck. Um, the payload, which I think most truck owners will find appealing, 1,760 pounds of payload capacity. Towing capacity, another huge thing, 11,000 pounds of towing capacity. That is just astonishing. The wheelbase, the, the truck sits very, very firm at 135 inches and has a total power of 750 horsepower with quad motors. So there is a motor that sits on every tire um, and this is just, just amazing how they did this. Um, so let's continue on. Approach and departure, 34 degree and 30 degrees and the max ground clearance of 14 inches, which I think is okay. Again, I'm not really a truck owner, but I, I think that has plenty of ground clearance uh, to do all the things that you need the car to do if you are doing any off-roading. Um, it has a breakover angle, so uh, the car will get a breakover point of 26 degrees without having any, any issues. And another cool feature is this thing will actually wade or go through water of about three foot deep. So that means that everything underneath, including the battery pack, are completely sealed, which is pretty awesome. So let's talk about the skateboard. Rivian claims that the electric drive delivers remarkable power and torque through four independent motors, which I had already just mentioned, with 200 horsepower available at each wheel. Um, it has precise torque and control, which enables uh, torque vectoring and maximizes performance in every situation from high speed uh, cornering to low speed rock crawling, rain or shine. What it also says is basically by leveraging the laws of physics to bring you further into nature. And that's what this vehicle is supposed to be, right? The adventure pickup truck. So let's look at the battery pack, as we just had mentioned. It will have a couple different options, but the first variance or the first option that they're going to build is the 180 kilowatt battery, um, which was developed with the world's largest automotive pack to date. There is nobody out there with this big of a battery pack. Um, and they also built it to be the most durable, to give you confidence to go further, regardless of the terrain or temperature. Um, the cool thing that they did here too, is that their BMS or their intelligent battery management system learns your behavior to optimize performance and storage. So this thing is going to learn as you drive to help maximize the life and the range of the battery, which is some pretty cool technology. So the other cool thing that Rivian did is they have four different sensors that this vehicle will use to keep you protected and to provide you some additional features. This is how Rivian will see the world. They will see the world through cameras, LIDAR, radar sensors, and ultrasonic sensors and GPS. So this will guide the vehicle through some type of autopilot feature and at some point in time this vehicle will be fully autonomous. So that's going to be very very exciting to see. These are some very very cool features. Let's take a look at some of the interior features. This vehicle will seat five adults comfortably. The vehicle will have two touchscreens, a center cluster, and a center console with all the information you will need. It will have a plethora of applications as um, they did mention at launch and a quick quick swipe left and swipe right, swipe right, say that five times fast, um, to get you to the applications that you do need to use. The vehicle will also have a very, very cool bed. Um, and this, this is more of a, a short bed. It is not a long range or mid range bed. Um, I think it's a little bit smaller than people may want it to be, um, but it is what it is. It does have some very, very cool features. Um, one of which is that the tailgate actually folds all the way down um, to the car all the way down to the ground so you're not having to actually reach over the tailgate um, to get something into the bed and it also has a couple of cool steps that unfold from the tailgate to allow you to step up into the bed it also has some convenience outlets as well as a compressor on board for you to use while you're out in the wilderness having an adventure the other cool thing about this vehicle is that it actually has a full-size spare located underneath a hatch in the bed so a lot of cars today we all know that they don't get you don't have a spare tire 
um, let alone a full-size spare tire. So Rivian was smart when they designed this vehicle and included this spare tire into the back of the bed. Very well thought out feature, if you will. And for those who are not familiar uh, with a frunk um, in the EV world, obviously there is no combustion engine in this vehicle. So they were actually able to take that space and provide additional storage. So you don't have to throw your tools, your groceries, or your gear in the cab of the vehicle, taking up some precious room. You actually have a very, very large storage space in the front of the vehicle to put these belongings in. Uh, another very well thought out aspect of the vehicle, and I think a lot of people will enjoy this. Another cool feature that the Rivian has is a pass-through that goes from one side of the truck to the other side of the truck, just behind the rear seats. And you can put things in here such as golf clubs, skis, tents, anything that you can think of that, that's long that you know would you don't want to put in a bed that you may want to keep a little more secure um, would fit right in here. But it has a dual purpose. As you see these doors fold down, they're also they also can be used as seats or as a step to get up to the roof of the vehicle. So again, another well thought out planned um, feature of the truck. Okay, folks, so there you have it. There is the, the Rivian R1T, the world's first electric adventure vehicle. So please let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below. Did you like the truck? Do you think that there are some missing features? Do you think it's actually gonna be produced when they say it's gonna be produced? What do you feel about Rivian as a company? Do you think that it is sustainable for them to get to this point? How far along do you think that they are versus other competitors that are trying to get into this market? And I'm not just talking about a pickup truck, but other, other startups that have come and you haven't heard anything like Lucid or Byton and uh, some of those other manufacturers that we're just waiting to hear from. I feel that Rivian is certainly a lot closer than a lot of other manufacturers. And I really, really wish Rivian the best of luck. And I hope that they do bring this vehicle to market because I do feel that there is a niche that they can take and use this vehicle. Um, and don't forget, which I didn't mention in here, and we'll have to do another video on it when there's some additional information, but they are also producing a seven seat SUV with the same type of battery capacity and uh, the same type of uh, intelligent system throughout the vehicle as well. So that's also gonna be exciting to see. So please folks, comment down below. If you are a truck owner, what do you think about this thing? Would you take $1,000 and go ahead and make a reservation? It's fully refundable, so you don't have to worry about it. And do you think that 2020 is actually a date that this company will be able to meet to, to produce this vehicle and actually get it into the public's hands? And Rivian, if you're listening, I would love to take this thing for a ride and uh, to test out all these cool features that you guys have listed here and really put this truck to the test. So it's super exciting. So thank you so much for tuning in, folks. We truly appreciate it. And if you liked the video and found it informative, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Have a great day.